I want to talk about Delta dollars. Delta dollars is very, very important when you're dealing in trading options. It's a very, very simple concept. What we want to really understand is if I own options within a portfolio, I want to know what my exposure of those options to the market are at any given time. I want to get an understanding of what is my beta, if you will, to, to uh, the underlying asset that I'm trading. In this case, let's call it the S&P 500. We can use options, couldn't we, Oswald? Now, this is Oswald, and Oswald is my options expert. What do you think, Oz? Do you think it's a good idea to talk about Delta dollars? You do. You do. If I could calculate the Delta dollars, let's say, of five different positions I might have in options in different stocks, I could then get an idea of how much risk I have in my portfolio. The first thing we must understand that Delta represent equivalent share position. For example, if you own one call on Tesla at the money, you own 50 shares of Tesla times the price of Tesla. If Tesla's trading at $700 a share, you own 35,000 Delta dollars. That's your Delta dollar position on Tesla. Now you might say, well, doesn't a call represent 100 shares? Well, that's at expiry, and that's it's, if it's in the money or out of the money. If it's out of the money, it represents zero shares. If it's in the money, it represents 100 shares. But how about the minute you buy it and there's time to expiration? Well, that 50 share position or that equivalent share position is 50 shares times the price of the stock will give me delta dollars. So let's look at a portfolio of different options and stocks. Let's say you own one call at Tesla at the money, $700 a share. One call on Microsoft at the money, $260 a share. One call of Exxon out of the money at thirty, at fifty-six dollars a share. Two calls of Apple in the money at one hundred thirty-three dollars a share. One hundred shares of Netflix, at five hundred dollars a share. You would actually have one hundred fifteen thousand five hundred sixty Delta dollars. Now, why is that important? Now, what I can do with Delta dollars is quite simple, Oz. Are you falling asleep? Because this is really important stuff, Oswald. Let's assume your total portfolio value is one hundred thousand. And you have a Delta dollar position that's 115,560. You actually would take your Delta dollar position, divide it by your portfolio to come up with how much market exposure you have in your portfolio, which is quite important, especially if the market crashes 20%. Add up those deltas and then say, well, I have so many deltas, and then I could figure out my beta. If you have a $100,000 portfolio, has a delta dollar position of 115, your beta is 1.15. You want to reduce your portfolio exposure to, let's say, 0.75. Now, you can calculate how many puts at a particular delta you'll need to get your portfolio beta down to 0.75. It's simple. X divided by a $100,000 portfolio will give you a beta of 0.75. You solve for X. X comes to 75,000 delta dollars. So if I have 115,560 delta dollars, I need to get down to 75. I need to lose 40,560. If I decide to buy 20 delta puts to reduce my beta exposure using the SPY, how many puts would I need to buy to get down to 40,560 delta dollar. 120 delta put on SPY at $400 a share is 8,000 delta dollars. So if I divide 8,000 into 40,560, it tells me how many puts I need to own. So delta dollars is very, very important if you're hedging a portfolio, if you want to know what your beta is, you want to know what your hedge ratio is, it becomes very, very important. New portfolio risk exposure, we're going to capture three quarters of the upside and three quarters of the downside. Well, actually, no. The beauty about optionality is that optionality is not linear. If you buy a protective put, it is curved. So that means that if you buy a protective put with a 75 beta and the market draws down, your beta continues to go down. Your risk goes down. The market should go up. Your beta goes up. The only financial asset in the financial community that has curvature is optionality. That's why 
everybody should use options to hedge. Yes, he says yes. I can hear that. Thank you for listening.